I mean, the one thing I love about Todd is he's dead mature. I mean, he even bought my chips. Oh, wow, he really knows how to show a girl a good time. And he's dead clever. So what's he doing going out with you, then? Anyhow, I don't even know if we're going out. Well, not officially, anyway. Oh, well, if it doesn't work out, you can always stay with Darren. You're just a big kid. Hiya. Hiya, Todd. Hiya. So, are you going to walk us to school, then? Might as well, I suppose. Hang on a minute, I've got something in my shoe. You know, you can walk ahead, Sarah. We'll catch up in a minute. So, what do you want to do? I don't know. We can get bus into town if you want. Then what? Hey, we can go to the Lowry Centre. <laughs> what for? To look at the paintings. Yeah, right. But it's free. Yeah, because who'd be daft enough to pay? Yeah. We could just go up the precinct. Yeah, sounds good. Afternoon. Hi. Not interrupting anything, am I? No. What time will tea be ready? Well, give me a chance to get my breath back. I've only just finished work. Just leave mine in the oven. I don't know what time I'll be in. Mm, suit yourself. Don't be late. Monday night's bath night, remember? Are you ashamed of me? No. Well, why did you go all funny with me when your mum came over? Cos she's a pain. She's a mum. They're all pains. Yeah, but mine could make an Olympic sport out of winding me up. But if she knew I had a girlfriend, I'd never hear the end of it. Is that what I am? Your girlfriend? Well, I hope so. I mean, I'd like it if you were, because I think you're dead nice. Honest? Now, do you believe me? So, uh, when are you inviting your girlfriend over? What girlfriend? Oh, excuse me for being out of touch. But back in prehistoric times, when I was a teenager, putting your arm around a member of the opposite sex and staring goofily into their eyes usually meant there was something of a romantic nature going on. Well, me and Candice just hang out sometimes, that's all. Todd's just filling me in on his girlfriend. <gasps> girlfriend? That'd be the day. Who'd have him? Can't we talk about something else? You might enjoy banging on to anyone who listens about your love life, but it don't mean I have to and all. Ah, so you are seeing Candice. Candice! Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Give over. I thought Candice had taste. She's not daft enough to go for the pit like I thought. <laughs> oh, pity. Would you make such a lovely oh, couple? Oh, Mum, get off. Hey, so come on then. What's the score with you and that lovely Candice? Nothing's going on. Why have you gone all red then? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you two's on the table, David! Oh! Oh dear, I didn't mean to interrupt you eating, I was just passing. Hello, sir. Hi, Audrey. Well, now, isn't this a nice change? I always think a table looks better when you've got a man at the head, huh? You're welcome to join us, ma'am. There's plenty. No, 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 thank you. I wouldn't say no to a cup of tea, though. This is gorgeous, Gail, as usual. <laughs> I don't know where you put it, Joe. Yeah, you don't get muscles like that living on cheese and crackers, eh, Sam? <laughs> I made spaghetti last night, didn't I, Sam? Yeah, better than out you get in a restaurant. Oh, well, I love to see a man enjoying his food. I can't bear faddy eaters. <laughs> There's me. no fear of that with Sam. <laughs> well, um... And have you got no one special at home to cook for you, Sam? I'm on my own these days. Bit of a disagreement with me, ma'am. Mm. What you need's a good woman to look after you. That's what you need. <laughs> Leave him alone, ma'am. Sam enjoys his freedom, don't you? Too right. Yeah, and the longer you hang on to it, the better. Oh. 